Mr. Toastmaster, get off my back. Sometimes you find yourself in darkness. You don't know that you are in the dark until a Messiah comes along and switch on the lights. What is strange in my case is that the, mess, the person that brought me into darkness is the same person that brought me the light. My path brought me into darkness. And then one day, unprovoked out of the blue, he said, boy, you've got to get off my back and you need to start doing your part. Now, I grew up in rural areas, born of a father who was a cattle farmer, an investor, and a mother who stayed at home, but more of a stay-home mom, more of an, an investment manager than a stay-home mom. Now, that's, all, that's, how it, that's how it all began for me. Before I knew it, I was in the felt chasing after my father's cattle. When other children left our dark village, they went to town to find the light in better schools. I remained behind with the cattle. Now, one thing I notice about cattle, and any animal for that matter, is that they never carry their children on their back. Within a very short space of time, baby animals are able to be free and start to fend for themselves. But what about human babies? How long does it take a human baby to be free? You're probably thinking six, 18 years, 21 years, I say sometimes never. We never really get to be free. Because once we're done depending from our parents, we get to depend on our employers and our community leaders. Once we move away from that, we get to depend on the government. So, in one form or another, we are always on someone else's back. Now, one day, I can remember this day vividly. I can see the sign, the sun shining through the clouds. I can feel the warm breeze. I can see the air shaking the, the tree branches. I can see the air causing ripples in our pond that was on our vegetable garden. My father said, come sit right next to me. We were sitting on a long bench in front of the crawl, we're facing the kitchen. He said to me, my son, I have carried, I've carried you for a long time. Now it's going to be time for you to stand on your own. He said, you see this kettle right behind us? This cattle were your training ground. And you have done very well. Very soon you're going to leave this cattle and go to university and start a new life. When you come back from that, I want you off my back. You need to start to do your part. I'm not saying that life is going to be easy because it is never easy but it would be your turn to fly high and spread your wings. I took that learning, took it, internalized it. When the time came for me to start sharing my knowledge, I went on to be a property investor. I now teach other investors how to acquire their properties and how to manage them. I mainly teach them to seek advice from the experts, but 
never to depend on them. Because I want them as soon as possible to be off other people's and to start doing their part. You might be sitting here today complaining about how our government, how our country is ravaged with crime and corruption. But what is it that you are doing to salvage what is left of our country? You might be working for an employer that is not, that is treating you very badly. But what is it that you are learning from that situation? Or you might be complaining how bad of a cook your partner is. But did you wash the dishes clean the previous night? So you might be grumbling, mourning and complaining. But remember, any person can help a thousand, but nobody can carry three on their backs. So, get off people's back and start doing your part. Mr. Toastmaster.